Hi, my name is Pat Donaldson. I'm here with my good friend Bill Pagarin, and um, we're in Alaska. And something really great and unusual and wonderful is happening here. And um, Bill travels as much as anybody I know uh, out into villages and going into different places all over the state of Alaska. And uh, and we're seeing something happen in this moment of time that's um, different than what we saw in years past. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about what's happening? Yeah, amen. Yeah, we're just seeing like uh, <clears throat> everywhere we go and preach the gospel, we're seeing people respond like, uh, uh, like we've never seen before. We've seen like half gymnasiums, uh, we've seen whole families uh, responding to the gospel. In a couple of villages this past, uh, past couple months, we saw everyone that was in the gym, young and old, stand in response to the gospel, saying that I want Jesus in my life. I know that he died for my sin. Uh, he died on the cross so that I could uh, live a life uh, free from uh, from, <clears throat> free from the penalty that I deserve mm. and uh, so it's amazing the response that we're seeing and it's it's really gotten to the point it's like it's impossible to preach the gospel without people mm -hmm. getting saved mm -hmm. and you mentioned it several times preach the gospel and mm. so one of the things we've been doing is we've been traveling around talking to people in different churches and different groups and we've been asking the question again what is the gospel uh, we, we say we preach the gospel, uh, we, we share the good news, but what exactly is the gospel? And, and uh, why don't you just tell us what it is you're preaching? Well, first of all, I mean, I have to recognize that I've sinned, like the Bible says, I've sinned, I've fallen short of the glory of God. There's no way that my good works or anything that I could do would ever reach God or get me to heaven. So I recognize that... Uh, that I'm a sinner and if I want eternal life and if I want the promises that God uh, can give me and that I can walk in, I need uh, to recognize that first. But the good news is, is that Jesus uh, died for us on the cross. So the message of the cross, that's mm. the big deal. That's, uh, uh, you know, without Jesus dying for us uh, and loving us enough to do that, mm then we couldn't be free. So the message uh, has to be centered around the cross. Right. You know, it's interesting. A lot of people don't even understand why the cross was necessary. And the Bible teaches us in Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2, uh, the story about creation, how God literally scooped up dirt out of, the, out of the earth and he breathed into it and he created Adam. The, the name Adam literally means dirt man or, or dirt. God breathed into dirt and created man. And then out of man, woman was formed and together they had this perfect place, this perfect garden. Uh, they had the whole world. God gave them the dominion over the earth. He, he gave them basically the keys to this realm over the animals and the fish and the birds and all the things that we care about. And, and, uh, and, and we were the ultimate environmentalists when we were first born onto the earth. We were supposed mm. to care for the earth. Right. And there was no sickness, there was no sin, there was no death, there was no murder, there was no divorce, there was no abuse on the earth at that time. And we were the stewards, man, we were the owners of, the, of this realm. And because of our choice, we opened a door to another voice, to a, a, a darker force. We opened the door to the devil to come in. And instead of listening to God, we listened to the devil and the Bible describes it as, as man fell into sin. We fell into brokenness. And it's at that time when sin entered the world. That's when murder entered the world. That's when bloodshed entered the world. That's where racism and hatred and divorce and abuse and all that stuff entered the world when man, the keeper of the, of the kingdom, the one with the keys, we let him in. So people say, well, if God's so loving, why was there murder on the earth? Well, if God's so loving, why is there cancer? Well, who let murder on the earth? Yeah. Who let cancer on the earth? It wasn't God. It was man. We're the ones that fell short and sinned. And the Bible says that from that one man, Adam, all the way until today, every baby that's born right now, this minute, we're born into Adam, the old Adam, the first Adam. We're born into sin through that man's 
seed, sin, is passed to every single person. But mm. God so loved the world, John 3, 16, God so mm. loved the world that he sent his only son. And Jesus came, born into the earth, mm. as the second Adam. Right. He was born not of the seed of man, but he was conceived in his mother's womb through the Holy Spirit. So he didn't contain the seed that we all suffer with. He was planet Earth's second opportunity to get what the first Adam lost. And it says he was tempted in every way, mm -hmm. just like us, yet he remained without sin. And he lived a perfect life. He was the spotless Lamb of God, the Bible says. And he allowed himself to be crucified beaten, hmm. torn, nailed on a tree, hung up in front of all the world to see. And by the shedding of his blood, it says in the Bible that Jesus paid the price yeah. for my salvation. That we were like kidnapped kids hmm. that got ripped off and kidnapped by the enemy. And, and, and the enemy was demanding a ransom. Right. Pay me the ransom. And so Jesus came and became the ransom to set me free. So... When he went into the grave, there was this moment on the earth where, you know, those people that knew him thought, uh-oh. <laughs> but on the third day, he rose from the dead, and it was, it was confirmed that he was the Son of God. And when he raised from the dead, the Bible says he became the firstborn among many brethren. That the second Adam, Jesus, started a new race on the yeah. earth. Yeah. A new race that followed him. So when we're born again... We, we were born the first time into the first Adam into sin. But when we're born again, we literally, that old man dies, mm -hmm. we're crucified with Christ, and when we're born again, we're literally born into Jesus, the second Adam. The old life is gone, and the new life has come. This is good news, yeah. because God so loved the world. He came to rescue us. He loved us, wanted, he wanted to have us in his family, and he came to save us. So. If I think I'm going to get to heaven by being good enough, wow. or if I think I'm going to get to heaven by giving enough money at church, or by being nice to old ladies that walk across the street, or whatever, hmm. I can't earn my way out of sin and into heaven. All I can do is recognize what Jesus Christ, the Son of God, did for me, and put my trust in Him that His sacrifice on that cross was enough for me. That when I put my faith in Him, mm. the Bible says something supernatural can happen inside of me. I can be raised from the dead. Yeah. I was dead in my <laughs> sins and trespasses, but now I become mm. alive with Christ. So, Your this new new creation creation in Christ. New creation I in mean, Christ. Yeah, he, he makes all things new, and uh, that's good news. That is good news. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, we, we put faith and trust in the Lord uh, by believing in Him. And we confess with our mouth, believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord, that He did all of what you said, that He paid the full price so that we could have that life, uh, not just eternal life, but uh, that life, abundant life, that Zoe awesome life that yep. we can have in the Spirit right here on earth. Right here, right now. That's right. Yeah. So listen, when you're going to go out and share the gospel, just remember... We were all born into sin. Adam sinned, we're all born into sin. That sin separates us from God. That the penalty of sin is death. And if we didn't have a remedy or a cure, we would all be sentenced to a death sentence in, in hell, eternity without mm. God. But God loved mankind enough that he sent his son who lived a sinless life and died on the cross. He was raised from the dead. Amen. Yeah. And he's the Lord today. And he wants to be the Lord of your life. And he wants to be the Lord of all of your, your moms and dads and cousins and aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters. <laughs> and he wants to save the yeah. whole world. He, his desire is that nobody would be left out of this. That's right. And so we're, we just want you to know the good news. We want you to believe the good news. Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel because mm -hmm. contained in the gospel is the power of God for yeah. salvation to yeah. those that believe. Amen.